Hi everyone. So last night I saw this post from David Segura. It essentially says OSD Cloud, any PC. Uh, and you can image any PC with OSD Cloud now, so you don't need to have a specific model that's covered by a driver pack, for instance. So I wanted to give it a go. So let's not waste any time on this. I have a, a Dynabook here that definitely doesn't have a driver pack. I, I certainly can't find one, and it's not included in the OSD Cloud solution at the moment, so we're going to rely on the MS Update catalog. Um, let's give it a go. So I've got my USB stick plugged in, and I've got a network, a network adapter plugged in because it's all USB these days. Uh, and yeah, we're ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose USB memory and see if it boots. Great, okay, so it's ready to go. Now I'm assured by David there's no additional steps I need to take. I'm going to install the OSD Cloud module and just see what happens. So let's give it a go. Okay, so now that's done, we will start OSD Cloud. Cool, so I'm going to go with 21H1 and Enterprise, so 6. And uh, I forget the EN language. 8. We'll do the US. Okay, so it's. Uh, looks like the refresh rate is ruining this. Uh, this output, but it's decided that it can't find Toshiba in the driver pack, which makes sense. I'll choose yes on the wiping the disk. Now I assure you, the screen I'm looking at on the laptop itself isn't flickering and 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 having having issues. It's it's just on the on the recording. So I think it's um must be the refresh rate or something that I've got on this uh, capture card. All right. So what's it doing now? So it's downloading twenty one H one ESD file from Microsoft. Okay. Give this a few minutes. All right, at this stage, it seems to be um, downloading all the drivers from Windows Update. Uh, wow. All right, so that's done in 20 minutes and 13 seconds. Um, what I'm going to do is, is reboot this machine and, and see it come into the out-of-box experience. And I want to quickly get into the to the desktop so I can check in device manager to see all the drivers are there. Uh, what I will do, though, is remove the Ethernet cable. 
so that it doesn't accidentally pick it up or uh, automatically pick up some drivers from Windows Update once the machine's built. So let's just give that a go. Okay, great. So uh, this assumes that you've you've already got a WinPE OSD Cloud stick. Um, so if you haven't, have a look at the walkthrough on on the website, or uh, take a look at my other video, which I'll link at the top. Um, it also assumes that you right now I don't care about autopilot and getting into a usable desktop. What I want to do very quickly is just show that the drivers are installed and verify that this has done what we think it's done. So I'm going to do that by just hitting. Um, Control Shift F3 from here, and jumping into the uh, into the sysprep environment to to do that custom customization normally. But I'm not going to do any of that. I just want to check Device Manager. So let's do that. Now remember, I've removed the Ethernet cable purely so that we have no internet access on this machine, and ideally that will show that none of this is is trickery. None of this is is happening after the installation's taken place. It's all come from the OSD cloud module. Okay, great. So I'm not going to do this sysprep tool thing just yet. Uh, I want to just check out device manager. Not bad. Not bad. We've got an Intel sensor that has failed and unknown device that's failed. So, I mean, that's pretty good, to be honest. Uh, for a machine that is, you know, just ra a random machine that I picked up, uh, which has no driver pack associated with it. And yeah, it's, it's pretty much got all of the, uh, all the drivers installed there. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I think that's uh, that's done the trick. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll get more content to you shortly. See you next time.